What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Food Service Driver back in the building. Just thought I'd give you guys another update. Um This video is gonna be very emotional, you know what I'm saying? Um last night I was at the truck stop, you know, um, doing my 10 hour break, and I saw a food service driver, Cisco delivering to um pilot, yet they pilot flying J. And um he noticed me, he was like, hey man, what happened? I thought he was with um McLean, I was like, man, I let him know due to certain circumstances. I just, I can't rock like that anymore. And so, you know, we was talking, um, chatting it up, and his story really touched me, and it really, you know, motivated me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he told me he used to work, you know, part, you know, like part time or full time job, making like ten, twelve dollars an hour. And he was looking for a way out. He was looking to make more money, better himself. He was looking for a type of career where he can go with stable income. And he said he's been rocking with me ever since I was with Cisco and watching my videos and it really motivated him to get a CDO. Um, he got a CDO, got put on with Cisco, went through the driver training program. Um, and he said he's been following me ever since. And, you know, because of me, I motivated him to go get a CDO, to get in the food service and, you know, and do what he do now. And um, it really touched my heart to know that I was able to influence him you know, to get a CDL, to get in the food service, you know what I'm saying? And and it really hurt me because he said he was almost getting close to being put out. He was single with three kids and he needed a change. And he always thought about food service, but he don't see a lot of videos on YouTube about food service. And my videos just popped up and he's been watching me ever since. And I'm the reason why he been, you know what I'm saying, got motivated to get on. You know, hearing stories like that, it's really, it's really touching especially for, you know, for a driver to hear that, you know, that you can really make a difference in people's lives. And that really touched me right there to know that I was able to help somebody out. You know, my videos help a lot of people out. You know, people always tell me and let me know. Um, you just got to keep your head on strong, man. And, you know, for that dude, you know, I really appreciate him. And, uh, you know, um, college is just coming up. And I asked him he had any plans, you know. He said, you know, due to the coronavirus, you know, uh, he get hours, but he don't get as much as he was before. And, you know, his kids want all this stuff, like, for Christmas. You know, I took it upon myself. I gave that man $600. I had to pay my car note and my insurance. I just said, fuck it. I gave it to him. He's like, no, 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 you don't have to. I was like, man, look, man. You know, it was people like you. It's the reason why I do stuff the way I do right now. And, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I can always pay that back another time. But, you know, I always believe if, you know, blessing other people. You know, somebody may be not as fortunate as you. You know, it's good to always help others than help yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I gave it to him. The man was crying and tearing up, man. He was thanking me and telling me, you know, get back on it. Um, that being said, a lot of people ask me, did I quit food service? At the moment, I did. I took a break. Anybody in food service know that extra board is some bullshit. It is. You know, you ain't got no consistent schedule. You always... I mean, you get your 10 hour break, but you don't really get a 10 hour break. If you think about it, let me break it down for you how this, how, how that work at McLean, okay? You're on, a, you're on a load board, you're on the extra board. They're gonna call you the morning of, right? They're gonna be like, look, this is your route. You may go on the two day, you may go on the local, you may go on the driver, driver, and you come back the next day, right? By the time you get back to that DC, you hit off duty. 10 hour break already started and they will call you majority of the time they'll call you and let you know what you're doing before you even get back to the terminal so by the time you get back you dock the you dock the motherfucker you back up you take unload the truck well unload the pallets or whatever put your hand carts up go park that truck walk into McLean, turn in your paperwork then you have to drive home then you have to go eat you're gonna have to go shower you're gonna have to spend time with your family if you have one or your loved one by the time you do all that, I mean, you probably got what, maybe seven, six hours left. And then you go to sleep and you get back up and you gotta go right back again. There's no consistent days off. You don't know what your days off. Um, you're basically, the only way you know when you're off is when you got no hours and they they'll leave you alone for a 34 hour reset. Or well, you best believe after that 34, they gonna they gonna blow your phone up. Trust me, they gonna blow you. Anybody work from McLean today, they gonna blow your phone up. After that 34, and I just can't rock like that. I was with, you know what I'm saying? I had my own account. I mean, my own route, you know. And due to, you know, we lost a customer, big one. 
and we had to take a hit. And there was a lot of routes that got cut. A lot of people on extra board, like over 30 people on extra board. And it's just like, you know, they always say wait it out, wait it out. You know, I mean, it's always cool to wait it out, but I've, I've been in the game for too long to deal with the bullshit. And I'm not, you know, I waited out, you know what I'm saying? But the fact is, you know, I left food service. I came back, I left for like a, a couple of months. You know, I came back and I got put at the bottom of the extra board. Seniority. Anybody know how that seniority should work? Once you get put at the bottom, you, get, you take whatever. And you know, um, and I couldn't even get back with my partner because when it came to him, there was not even a lot of options left. You know, so he had to tell, he had to do what he got to do. I mean, I don't blame. I can't get mad from him. He did what he had to do. He took a route, you know, the solo route, and you know what I'm saying. And there was enough driver drivers, so we couldn't be together. So you know what I'm saying. So I don't really, I can't fault him for that. But you know, anybody in food service know food service is a beast, and it is a bitch, depending on. See, that's why I like about, you know, Cisco and U.S. Food. That's one thing I would say that I missed about Cisco. I knew my days off. I knew what the expo was going to be because when I was at Cisco, they had your stuff like a week or two out. You knew exactly what you was doing a week or two out prior. You know what I'm saying? You had your, your days off. The day was going to work. You knew everything. McLean is was not like that. That's one thing I, I, wish, I, I wish they would do better on, but... You know, it is what it is, and they pay by weekly. I didn't mind it. You know, I was making good money, but you know, on extra board, you get, McClay, you get, you don't get paid by, you get paid by the route. You know, you may get a route, I had routes, you know, that was like a two day route with like 700 cases, 800 cases. And then you get a local route that has like 1,400 cases, which is good. And you had another local route that only had like seven to eight, 900 cases. So the pay always kept going up and down. And I didn't really like it. So, you know, with the company I'm in right now, my pay is just, Steady constant, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm testing the bells out to see if it is, see how it is, if I like it, if I'm gonna stay, if not. But I am gonna go back to food service, you know what I'm saying? Food, I love food service, you know? A lot of people say, you know, people will tell you food service is stupid. I love food service, I don't care. I love, I love waking up in the morning, you know, going to work. I, I loved it, I love going to work because my day was always different. You don't know what you're gonna encounter. You may have a thousand cases today, 1500, 1400, 600. It doesn't matter, man. I, I love, you know, I love doing what I do. I love stacking the hand cards like paying Tetris. You know, you stack it up different ways. You do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Go in the store, deliver customers. And you know, you get free stuff from the customers. It was a lot of benefits to it, you know, you know what I'm saying? And you stay fit. Like who was, who doesn't mind getting paid to stay fit? You know what I'm saying? But you know, a lot of people always down on food. So I would never down on food. So I'm a, I'm a food service the day I die to be honest with you. I'm gonna go back into it, you know what I'm saying? I, I loved it, you know, you know, driving trucks is, is good and all, you know, you know, a lot of people get on dedicated, you know, local work, you just bump in the dot, but it's cool and all, but it's boring after a while. You're just driving, just to drive. I love food circles, go to different places, go to different customers, you know, you test your backing skills out, you test your hand car skills. It was a lot of stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? And I loved it, I loved it for the sport. I mean, the money was good, and don't get me wrong, I do it for the money too, but you know, I loved it for the sport, you know what I'm saying? I loved it because that's a passion I love doing. Ever since I got into it, I told myself I would never ever go, I will never do nothing else. And that's why my YouTube name is gonna stay the same. Regardless of where I'm at, I'm food service to the day I die. And like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get back into food service. But, you know, I took a break because of this, you know, of that uh, you know, coronavirus and, you know, because of the work. I can't do extra board, I'm sorry. And maybe, maybe when I get back into it, things will be better. They probably get different customers, you know, there'll be rides open but as of right now i'm not doing no i ain't doing no extra boy i'm sorry <clears throat> i've done it before anybody food service food service will tell you that shit sucks sucks so you know i just had to do what i had to do do best but um but uh when i get back into it i definitely will get back into it it's just i don't know when you know what i'm saying but i'm kind of liking what i'm doing right now you know i'm taking a break off of food service because you know after a while anybody will tell you you're doing food service it takes a toll on your body it really does but you know but to that one dude, you know, who really touched my heart, man. He really, you know what I'm saying? It really it really touched me, you know what I'm saying? To know that I was able to do something for him. I've done something for other people, but that one right there really did. Like, his story was sad, man. And I blessed him with money. Like, you know what I'm saying? People might not agree with my situation, say that's a bit too much, or, you know, telling me that I shouldn't have done it. But I did it because I want to. I was I was born and raised in the church, man. I was always the person I always give. The type of person I, I give to people before I do for myself. You know what I'm saying? I always put other people before me. That's just how it is. That's how I was born. And he needed it. You know what I'm saying? Three kids. Christmas coming up. You ain't get much hours. You know? Kids want to do something. Want gifts. 
And I hate to be the bear news, you know, tell your kids you can't get the gifts because you ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? I blessed them. So, you know, he was grateful for it, you know. And I just, I love him. I, you know, I love him like a brother, man. And if you're watching this video, man, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. I continue to do what you got to do, man. I hope the tips I gave you have really helped. And, um, you know what I'm saying? You guys stay safe out there. Merry Christmas. And I'll catch you to you next time. Maybe next time, next video. If I will reveal who I'm working with. But until then, I love rocking with you guys. Peace out. Merry Christmas. Salute to all the food service drivers in the building. I may go back to McLean, Cisco, U.S. Foods. Don't really matter, man. We all brothers on one team, you know what I'm saying? We all ride for each other. Food service drivers out.